and welcome to Soul in Balance, the place to get your regular solar system news. So in this video, we will be going over the new moon in Leo that will be happening on the 1st of August at 1.11pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. So what has been going on? Um, it's definitely been a lot easier the last week or so, you know, as the sun has moved into Leo, things aren't as serious and as intense as what they were during the eclipse season. So we're all having a little bit of a break right now. We could also be repairing some of the damage that has happened over the eclipse season. We might be feeling a little bit positive over the things that we've had to let go of during the eclipse season. So it has been an absolutely radical time. Time. But it is definitely a time to be focusing on our creativity. Um, as Leo represents, you know, creativity, it represents the inner child. Um, it represents playfulness. It represents the heart and romance, you know, being in our strength, being proud of ourselves, you know. So definitely at this time, it is a time to be bringing about our creative essence. And it's it's exactly what is going to help us move through this energy. So if we can find time at this time to be creative, um, and I think we're all kind of experiencing, you know, a massive push to be creative. It's like, we've got, I've got to do something. I've got to get that new idea out there. I have to start something new. So, you know, these are thoughts that can definitely be going on at this time. So yeah, for sure. If you have an, uh, have a creative idea going on, definitely get that out there at this time um, it really is about you know stepping into our you know our own strength and our own power and you know putting ourselves out on that world stage um, because whatever we create right now is what is going to be you know bringing about the change bringing about the new in our societies and in our structures um, and it's also a time that we're going to be you know revolutionizing our sense of self and you know changing our old beliefs about ourselves um, so yeah, definitely at this time, if um, creativity is on your mind, it is something that you need to be doing. So stay tuned and I'll bring you the rest of the video. So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the cosmic weather, make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on. So this new moon is going to be at eight degrees of Leo. And if we think about the numerology number eight, eight is a power number. Eight is leadership. It's about being in our strength. So I think at this time, we really need to be doing exactly that and you know with this um, new moon it is going to be the sun the moon venus and mars so it is just going to be a time of coming into our heart expressing our heart expressing what we really desire and you know it can be a time of new romance it can be a time of you know reconnecting to your current relationship you know finding that spark and that passion again so yes it is pretty magical and as we all know you know leo the king of the jungle you know with all his passion and his pride and his love you know the noble the noble king as you would say so yeah, it really is a time to be expressing ourselves and it is definitely a time for figuring out what is not in our heart, what is not coming from a place of love and what we are passionate about, you know, situations, people, places that do not make us feel good deep within. Those are the situations that need to go. And I think if we look at it as you know, if something isn't bringing value to our lives, if something doesn't value us, then that is not of value to us, if that makes sense. So we need to just be getting, oh, not getting rid of, that sounds really harsh, doesn't it? Letting go of and, you know, accepting what is when it comes to our value and what is important and what is coming from our heart. You know, it definitely is a time to be, you know, connecting to our inner child and connecting to our old creative desires. Um, 
you know, obviously, you know, growing up in a patriarchal society, you know, we, we weren't necessarily allowed to have, you know, that creative spark, those creative ideas. We had to just, you know, be serious and soldier on and, you know, like not have too much fun. It was about you know, getting things done and survival. So, you know, we're now kind of having to connect to our authenticity and connect to our heart and find our creativity, you know, like even for women, women that do not, um, you know, live in their creativity have a lot of issues with um, polycystic ovaries or, you know, fibroids and things like that because they're not utilizing that creativity. They're not birthing their ideas. So definitely at this time um, is about birthing our ideas, birthing our creativity. So definitely get onto that if you have some creative ideas, you know, and it can be a confidence thing. You know, there is aspects going out to Chiron um, at this new moon. So it can be bringing up and healing, you know, something to do with our, you know, self-worth or, you know, how we see ourselves feeling good enough to be creative, feeling good enough to show ourselves to the world and, and have that creative spark within us, you know, sometimes we feel like oh I'm not creative I can't do anything like that like I'm just not artistic but that is completely incorrect we are all creative we are all here to create every day of our lives we are creating so I think it's really important that we do put a major focus on that you know like even if it's just going out into the garden and doing some gardening and you know, doing something creative there, even if you're at work, you know, like if you're sitting there on the phone or at working, like just draw something, like draw a flower, draw anything, just, you know, start being creative and it doesn't matter how small you start because then eventually it just becomes second nature, you know, and especially myself, I was not creative. Well, I thought that I wasn't anyway, especially growing up. But then once you tap into that, once you tap into who you really are and start living in your truth, creativity just flows. It just kind of spills out. And um, yeah, definitely at this time, if it is possible for you, just get out there and try new things. So I want to talk about new romance. So at this time, with all the planets in Leo, it really is highlighting romance. And because it's a new moon, it means starting something new. And in Leo, like romance is playful. It's about dating. It's about having fun. It's about getting to know someone. It's like the what would you say, the honeymoon period? Um, and especially having a Venus in Leo myself, I like to think I'm pretty romantic. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I definitely believe at this time, and it's a very romantic time. It's a time for new relationships, new love, and especially with the eclipse seasons we've had. Um, and because these eclipse seasons is bringing in past life dynamics, we can be seeing, you know, like soulmate contracts coming through from past lives, you know, creating romance in our lives. And this can be really magical. But at the same time, we need to be careful that it's not some like a karmic contract where we're getting too stuck in situations and we're getting too involved, even though it is nice to kind of, you know, go deep and just get carried away with love and romance and all the beautiful things that it is. But it's also important that we're being present, we're being in reality and remembering um, what we've learned in our past relationships and what works and what doesn't. And especially with um, karmic relationships coming through, soulmate relationships coming through from past lives that are actually here to help us on the journey. We can't get stuck in old ways of being, you know, like we have to keep moving forward with what we've learned. So if you are in a new romance right now or a new relationship or rekindling your current relationship, it's important not to fall back into the old. Like we need to be implementing, you know, what we've learned and, you know, all the lessons that we've had over this journey. So yeah, definitely have fun with the new romance that is coming 
up. Like it is just absolutely magical. Um, even if it's just finding new friends, we could be at a position at the moment where, you know, all these new people are coming into our lives and it just feels so good in our heart, you know, like connecting to people that have the same interests or are like-minded or, you know, just, you know, feel the same as you do. So yeah, it really is a time of connecting to people and um, really being in our heart space and yeah if you are in something romantic at the moment have fun you know like you know be in your heart space be your you know be that little inner child and you know have a great time um and then we will have um venus and mars conjunct together in virgo which will bring about things to be a little bit more critical you know as we do know virgo is about categorizing things it's about throwing away what doesn't work like it's it's logic it doesn't really get too caught up in the romance and the fantasies it's very much a, a reality um sign so yeah definitely at this time just have some fun don't get too carried away but just live in your heart space with an open heart you know being enchanted in romance and just being aware of the lessons that we have learnt, you know over the years over the last few months so yes enjoy this beautiful romantic energy okay so let's get a few oracle cards for this new moon in leo Alrighty, so we will start with the gaia cards that have a big heart on it so you know hopefully something amazing will come out but yeah at this time i really think um you know doing some inner child work will be really good i don't know if um any of you have heard of john bradshaw um he does a lot of work back in the 80s for um healing the inner child because that is what is going to help us have a great life we have an inner child within all of us all of us do and it's you know if we do not um you know think about that child nurture that child you know be supportive of ourselves and things like that this is where we have problems this is where that inner child comes out and just does something radical and then we're just sitting back thinking oh my god how did this event happen and it's usually because we're not paying attention to that inner child you know like and it's like, how, it's like how we feel about something. We could be upset about something and, you know, we're trying to escape it. We're, we're wanting to hang out with friends. We're on Facebook. We're going out on dates or something like that. And we're not paying attention to the little child that needs our support. You know, like, you know, we're skipping out on ourselves. And that's when, you know, these radical situations come up because it's just like this inner child wants our attention, like, really badly and we're thinking that we need something external from us to make us feel better to fill that void and all we need is just ourselves all we need is to be giving that attention to ourselves being present and that is i think something that's really important at this time because leo does represent you know the inner child so yeah, definitely if um, you're into the inner child stuff or if you haven't done inner child stuff already, looking up John Bradshaw, you know, is a really great thing to do. Like it really is coming home to our playfulness and our creativity and that comes from being present for that, um, for, for that inner child. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's all fun times, eh? <laughs> all righty, so I'm just going to get one more card if one will come out um and then i'll just do yeah three cards for um this new moon not that i usually do that i usually just do one but um i don't know i'm feeling pretty good like yeah i don't know feeling pretty playful myself um ooh, there we go okay so we have limitless we have the search, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. And the word wants to be written. Okay, so if we put all those together, realistically, you know, like with the search card, as you can see, you know, there's somebody who's feeling lonely, there's somebody who's feeling lost, but in the background, there's, a, you know, a sunrise, you know, and the person in the card isn't... Um, 
can't see the sunrise. They're focused on what they've lost. They're focused on what trauma they've just gone through. And that is fair enough at this time. You know, think about what's happened during the eclipses. Think about what's happened, especially the last year, like 2018. It has been intense. And, you know, we've had all our crutches, all our attachments just stripped away from us like nothing, you know, over the last few months. And we could just be looking at the piles of rubble instead of looking at the sun, you know, the sunrise in the background you know, instead of focusing on our creativity. So I think, you know, it's it's really important that we understand that there is a sunrise and, you know, things are going to get better and we need to start, you know, not focusing so heavily on what we've lost. Like what we've lost needed to go, you know, like it needed to be taken out of our lives so something better can come. And, you know, just even hearing that little reminder, because sometimes we just get fixated on what we've lost. It can even be like the four of cups in, you know, tarot, you know, like just focusing on those three spilt cups and not looking at that, you know, that one cup that's being handed to us. So, yeah, that's definitely what I'm thinking with the that card. And then we've got limitless. And, you know, that is what we are limitless. We are souls. We can do absolutely anything. It's just our conditioning that makes us think that we can't, you know, do anything that we want to do. And I know it's scary and I know it's hard. I went over this last video um, about being in fear and not trusting the process, thinking that we have to keep everything safe and secure. Um, you know, so we got food on the table, we can pay the bills. You know, all of that is understandable, but it's a time just to trust and take that leap of faith and have the universe catch us and you know I'm having to go through that myself I'm having to tap into and understand my limitless but once we understand that once we understand that we can create anything and then we believe it we actually believe it that is when we see this stuff happening so definitely realizing that we are limitless and we can do anything and how things turn out is how we believe they're going to turn out like if you've had an argument with somebody and you just constantly just keep telling yourself this is how it's going to turn out and this is how it's going to turn and this is how it's going to turn out that's how it's going to turn out but if you maybe think you know what everything's going to turn out perfect and everything's going to turn around and work out for me that is what's going to happen so i think just being limitless and understanding that you know the universe flows through us we don't have to force or push anything you know the universe is here to help us and help us be you know who we want to be we just have to trust and i think surrender to the process um so next card is the word wants to be written and you know i see that as again you know our creative potential you know it wants to come to form our ideas our creativity our desires wants to come to form and the only person who's blocking us is ourselves is our beliefs is our conditioning and we need to forgive ourselves for the patterning that we've learned over the generations or through my childhood, we need to be like, okay, I understand that I think this way, but I'm going to change it because what is happening right now is just me playing an old tape, an old tape of fear, an old tape of I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm not good enough. So yes, the universe is pretty much just saying what you want, we want to help you bring into form. So just start, just start the process, you know, let the universe guide you. If an idea comes through, just throw it out there. Like, don't even think about the outcome. Don't even think about what you're going to look like or what other people are going to say. Just do it. And I know how hard that is. <laughs> but I think it's just a time of just blind faith. Just, you know, make a fool of yourself. Have a laugh. Just get it out there. Um, you know, make it fun. And I think at this time with, you know, all the Leo energy is about making it fun, being creative, being that inner child. And I think if we do that, you know, we just can't go wrong. So yeah, I hope that um, those cards were helpful and will hopefully give you a bit of guidance um, during this new moon and leading up to the full moon in two weeks. So yeah, so exciting news.
Mercury will be going direct after just over two weeks of it going retrograde. So usually when it's a retrograde, Mercury is throwing off information that doesn't resonate. So information that doesn't seem correct, that doesn't sit with us, especially emotionally, because it's gone back into cancer. And it's also a time of redoing things, you know, rechecking things, reanalyzing things. And, you know, as it's gone past Venus, Venus. It's checking how we feel about things, checking, you know, our romantic connections, our intimate connections. Do they sit with us? Are they at a deep heartfelt level? You know, are we checking in with how we really feel? And, you know, then it's gone, it's gone past the sun as well. And it's been in cancer, you know, really understanding what is needed, especially with the North Node in cancer, how we need to move forward in a healthy way with our emotions, helping us express what we really want. So as it moves forward and then back into Leo, you know, it's going to be able to express what it wants on a heartfelt level so we can be feeling you know as you know the next week or so um, moves through that we might be able to really talk about how we feel you know we've checked everything we've dotted the i's and crossed the t's see what's not working for us and then we can just be like hey you know what i really adore this and I'm going to, you know, express how I feel about this. So, you know, at this time, it can be a time of just really just expressing our heart. And, you know, with all the creativity that's going on, this is just going to add to, you know, getting our creativity out there, you know, being in communities, creating with other people and, you know, putting ourselves on the world stage, like I said before, like, and, it, you know, it helps with that feeling of feeling overwhelmed, you know, not having the courage to express how we really feel and Mercury coming back through has that courage now it's gone into um, feelings thrown off what doesn't work so we can really be ready now to really talk about what we want and you know how we want to move forward because I think you know this this next month coming up is really about just moving things forward I, I don't think it's going to be a majorly chaotic month I think it's just going to be a month of just um yeah, picking ourselves up off the ground, you know, loving ourselves and understanding our desires and our passions and just expressing them in the most beautiful way possible. So the last um, aspect that I want to um, touch on is Mars in Leo that will be making a quincunx out to um, Neptune in Pisces. Now, this is a bit of an irritating aspect. It's like the fly in the room. And because Mars is very much about going after what they want, going after their passions, you know, you know, fulfilling that need and getting something out there. And then the aspect with Neptune is about, you know, getting in touch with our spiritual side, connecting to our, you know, infinite potential, coming from a place of unconditional love, spirituality, you know, the cosmic womb. And because it's an irritating aspect, it's really telling Mars and telling us to check in, you know, is this in our soul's highest potential? Is this direction and is this creativity that we're wanting to form is it, you know, part of the change? Is it in our integrity? Is it going to bring about the spiritual and soulful aspects that we want to bring about into our world? I don't think that this is going to be a majorly irritating aspect, but it is something that's going to be in the background of our mind. Is it something that's going to make a change? Is it something that's coming from our heart space? But I think we're already kind of feeling that anyway with all the other aspects that have been going on. Um, but yes, so that is um, it for me for the um, new moon in Leo video. But um, yeah, just to recap on it all, it really is a time for creativity. And it doesn't matter how you get there. You know, it doesn't matter if it's baby steps. It doesn't matter if it's as simple as doodling on a piece of paper or, or, you know, going outside and doing something in the garden or changing up your clothes even, like doing something creative with your clothes or your hair or something, just doing something new and being in love with life, you know, being in a, what is it, Bruce Lipton that um, has that book, The Honeymoon Effect, you know, and when we're in love, you know, life is just so much better. It feels so good. So if we can be in love with life, be in a romance with life and with ourselves and our creativity, I think we're really going to flow at this time and we're really needing this, you know, kind of downtime for this next month 
to bring about that creativity after everything that we've been through the last few weeks and the last year it really is a time just a, a beautiful time just to connect with ourselves and connect with others and connect to the beauty of life so yes um if this resonated with you, you know, please contact me if you would like me to do a reading for you and we can go over what's going on for you personally. Um, all my details are below. Um, but other than that, I hope everybody has an absolutely magical and romantic month ahead. And yeah, I don't know. Like, I honestly just think it's just a great time to be alive right now. So yeah, make the most of it. Um, so yeah, um, many soul journey blessings and I'll see you guys soon. <music>